Hi friends, my name is Amog. In this video, I will show you how to make the assembly of the connecting rod. For that, go to SolidWorks software first. Click on assembly. Here, select the parts where you have saved in your PC. After that, first take out the body of the connecting rod and take out a bearing brush for assembly. Before doing assembly, we will first hide the reference planes because it will disturb a lot while doing assembly. So after hiding the reference planes, we will click on assemble command. After that, select this surface of the bearing brass and this surface of the connecting rod body. Again, this surface and this surface of the connecting rod. Again, zoom a bit. Again, this surface of the connecting rod and this surface of the body. See now it's assembled correctly. Uh, give it as diametric view. Uh, again, take out the cover. Oh, sorry. Before taking the cover, we have to place the distance piece on both the ends of the body of the connecting rod select the surface of the distance piece and this surface this surface and this surface this surface it's not getting moved better we'll try once Take out the distance piece once again. We will fit it for diametric view. Uh, again, better we select inner circle this time. This surface and the inner surface of the cylinder. Uh, okay, and this surface of the distance piece and this surface of the connecting rod. Yeah, now it's coming correctly. Uh, select the bottom surface of the distance. Select bottom surface of the distance piece and the upper surface of the connecting rod body. Yeah, see now it's came correctly. You have to do the same on either sides. So take out again another distance piece. Click on assembly. First select the circle on both distance piece and the connecting rod. It will come like this. After that, select select this face and this face of the connecting rod. Then yeah, now it's coming correctly. Select the bottom surface of the distance piece and the upper surface of the connecting rod body. After that select this select this plane zoom a bit yeah, select this plane and this plane of the connecting rod I think it's not correct Select click on assemble, select this face and this face. Now it is not coming correctly. Better we'll delete and try it once again. Yeah, this part delete. Fit it for diametric view. Take out another distance piece. Click on assemble. Click on this cylinder and this cylinder. This surface and this surface yeah 
and this surface and the upper surface of the connecting rod so now it's came correct again fit it for a diametric view uh, take out the cover now go click on assemble select this surface and this surface of the distance piece now select this inner cylinder of the cover and the inner of the inner circle of the distance piece here also do the same inner cylinder zoom a bit yeah now inner cylinder and inner cylinder yeah now it's came correct fit it now we have to insert a bearing brush here connecting with the cover so take out the bearing brush outside click on assemble click on this surface and click on the upper surface of the cover click on this surface yeah this surface and this surface of the distance piece now this surface of the bearing brass and the front face of the cover see now it's fitted correctly fitted for diametric view now we have to insert washer first then nut and then bolt we'll take out washer first washer click on assemble click on this surface better we'll click on the cylinder of the washer and then the cylinder of this better uh, after that we'll click on the bottom surface of the washer and the upper surface of the cover no it is not getting connected so we'll try it once again yeah fit it click on assemble click on this surface and this surface yeah it is better we'll try of this method yeah this cylinder and now click on the cylinder of the cover yeah now it's fit correctly again take out another washer sorry this washer click on this surface of the washer remove it yeah click on this surface of the washer and the upper surface of the cover again coincide the cylinders of the washer and the cover yeah click on this cylinder and this cylinder yeah now it's came correctly yeah above this we have to place the nut and bolt okay Yeah, we'll take out the pin first. Yeah, no, no. We'll place the pin afterwards. Take out the stud. We have to assemble it in the cylinders. Click on the outer surface and the inner surface of any of the covers. for placing the stud we have to see the inner view of the body so we'll use this command visible and hidden edges yeah now we can see the inner part where actually the stud moves in so click on this surface and this surface and this surface it moves very inside so we'll use
choose the command move part click on ok select this and move inside click the axis click this y axis yeah now it is not getting moved so we will delete and try it once again yeah take out the stud click on assemble outer surface of the cylinder and the inner surface of the curve click on this surface Now better we'll make this this surface and the this surface of the washer. Now now use the command new part select on this click on y axis. Yeah, we have to do before placing the stud. So again, sorry for the inconvenience. Delete, delete the part. Take out the stud once again. Click on assemble this part and this part. Yeah. Now use the command move part. Click on OK. Now click on the body that you have to move. Now select this. We have to place the stud correctly. Click on assemble. Yeah, leave it. We'll try it afterwards. Take out another stud. Click on assemble this part and this part. I will show you correctly how to make that. Okay, leave it like this. Yeah, click on move part there is no other way we have to use this hmm. and one more thing this hole has to coincide with the hole present in the cylinder yeah now I came to know yeah this hole and the hole present in the body has to coincide correctly you know I came to know sorry delete this and delete this take out the stud click on the outer surface of the cylinder and the inner surface of the cover now click on the hole which is present in the cylinder yeah this hole Yeah. this hole and this hole now it's came correctly again take out the stud click on assemble outer surface and inner surface this hole and this hole now it's correct now take out the nut click on assemble click on this surface of the nut now before that select this cylinder and this cylinder and now this surface and the upper surface of the washer select this surface and this surface 
do the same click on assemble inner cylinder cylinder this surface and this surface of the washer We'll do it once again. Delete this part. Uh, sorry, this part. Take out the nut once again. Zoom a bit. Click on assemble. Click on this cylinder and the cylinder of the stud. Yeah. Now this surface of the nut and the upper surface of the washer and this surface of the nut and any surface front face of the cover or connecting rod okay now it's done we have to place a bush inside the circular cylinder of the connecting rod and the cover take out the bush click on assemble select the outer surface of the bush and any surface either on cover or on the bearing process select this no sorry this has to be placed here ok take out the cover sorry not cover bush take out the bush select this surface and this surface this front surface and front surface of the connecting rod where actually piston sits and uh, bearing brasses done body done bush we have placed a cover we have placed a distance piece nut pin yeah this pin we have to place click on assemble this pin has to coincide here this pin this is very little part so select this surface and this surface yeah now it's done okay now we have to place it yeah pin select move part okay place it to place it uh, symmetrically on equal side so delete it once again take out the pin click on assemble this surface and this surface select move part select this part and Click on assemble, select this surface and this surface, this inner surface and the outer surface. Yeah. 
will do the same here also take out the pin and remove it select this cylinder and this cylinder this and this yeah now it's correct we have placed all the box and we have to place the split pin we have to place the split pins on either side of the nuts so click on assemble click any one of the cylinder which is present on the split pin and select this inner cylinder this cylinder this outer surface and the front face of the nut it is not getting connected so once again we'll try this part ah yeah this part select new part okay. yeah you have to place it like this So I have this office. It has to go inside. Let's try it once again. Delete this. We can uh, first take out the split pin. We can assemble. click on the front face of the split pin this surface and the front face of the nut this and this surface yeah now click again on assemble We will do the same on either side. Split pin, take out the split pin, click on assemble, select this and this. We will zoom this area, select this cylinder and this cylinder. to move this inside so select this select this axis select. try moving in it is possible only with move part option move part ok try moving inside now after you move that inside your assembly of connecting rod is done before you complete go to file save it save yeah you can give the you can give where you have to save you can save somewhere on your pc i will save on desktop I will save in uh, yeah, here save thank you for watching my video guys bye meet you in next video